What's going on gamers? RC Styles here welcoming you to week number 8 of the 2022 Mutant Football League season. I, of course, as I said, am RC Styles, joined in my Discord with Dami Steel Legacy, and we have a new community member, Griffin. The roof is open today at the Krokyo Dome here in Tokyo, Japan. The only city to survive World War VII. Tokyo saved the Earth with their giant robots and monsters. Now they'll thrill the universe with their regular-sized robots. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Los Angeles Volts go up against the Tokyo Terminators have won the skull flip and can choose to kick off or receive. Hey, go ahead. Take all the time you want to pick. I'm sitting in the studio making money, kid. Pick something already, will you? Receive. They want the ball first. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzrow along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim. I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. It's almost time for kickoff, and I could not be more thrilled. I know. You won't stop squeezing my shoulder. Sorry, Bricks. It's uh, just so exciting. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score unbelievable he scores this guy's a game breaker man he returned the kickoff with an amazing run leaving the kickoff team in the dust and puts up six on the board Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Kick. Too bad they don't get points for touchbacks. And it's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and seven. It's about a three-yard pickup. They go 
to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And a eight yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. They run it for a yard. And that'll bring up third and one. First down. First and ten. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. You know, all the guys talk about stepping up their game, Rick. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grant. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic clap just cleared the field. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times? The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the NFL. Second down and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and ten. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Yeah. First and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> 
First down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. He's at the 30, the 20, he's at the 10, and that's a touchdown. Man, once he saw daylight, he was gone. The kickoff team didn't even know what hit him. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's a fake kick! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Perfect kick. Great way to kick off the carnage. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. First and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. All right, everybody, that brings us into halftime. As you see, it's the Los Angeles Volts with seven against my Tokyo Terminators this year with 13. As you know, I play a different team every year. This year, we're doing Terminators to unlock another team, uh, which we will reveal at the end of the season, hopefully, as long as anything goes as planned. I am joined in my chat with Olaf Slayer 72 He has a podcast that deals with the NFL. I'm going to get his information and everything and make sure I link to that in the descriptions and such. And uh, we might have, uh, have him join us here at the end of the season for playoffs and uh, mayhem, Bowl. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! for a first down.
First and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And he scores! That's six points for a special teams unit on a fantastic punt return. And for those of you that had him on your fantasy team, congratulations. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kick is straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And this guy is one of the best shit kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. With a time and combo. First and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Third and four. for it and the defense is licking their mutant lips oh and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him left in the game and we'll be right back after I uh, tap off my drink when they do that and it's first and ten and this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. 
And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. That guy is not getting up. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. I won't even get out of for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, that's a big-time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? First and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Second down and six. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown! My vacuum cleaner can dance better than that. Hi, Peaches. I still see you uh, lurking over there. Don't want to make any heading. mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he got a hold of that one. First and ten. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You gotta use them smart if you wanna score. Let's see if they did. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Touchdown! Looks like someone uploaded some new dance moves. Now 
Well, it should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. A fake kick? This is going to ruin my fake team's fake score! And he finds his target for two! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And this guy is one of the best shit kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. The Tokyo Terminators win the game today. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, oh there he's got it now. God. Yep. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right every other time. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flick or ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace.